So I've been having these thoughts about my stance, and I was geeking shower the other night, and I discovered that I kind of stand like this. <laughs> and to get in the front seat, I do this <laughs> and this. So look how far past my toes my knees are and how keen to my back is. And then I got my boots done and they stood me up a little, but I still had this and this. So I had to sway back and my hips pushed out at the same time, which is honestly a little painful. And Michael said, why are you standing like that? And I thought about it for a long time and I realized that this is the finishing position in skating. Right? Look at those way back. So, I went online and I looked at photos of men and women and I think that it's a plumage thing. Right? Because on the red carpet the women are standing like this. <laughs> and the men are standing like this. Hi! <laughs> so I'm thinking that it's easier for men to see properly and be in balance earlier because they naturally stand with this tucked under. So here's something that's interesting. Never. If you stand like this and go ahead and try it, your joints, especially if you're a woman, all want to move. Look at the range of motion that I have on my knee. That is enormous. And my hips are really kind of loose <laughs> and they want to wiggle. But if I tip my pelvis under, the range of motion in my knee diminishes by more than half. And I think my knee can probably move that much because I have really loose ligaments. And my hips don't want to move at all. Maybe this is why boys have a hard time dancing. <laughs> so everything is tighter and therefore much more in alignment. So my big issue was that I couldn't stand on my left outside edge because I felt with my pelvis tipped like my bone was going to fall right off the leg. And now that I have a tip,